The TA-30 Compass was originally designed as a jet trainer, with significant emphasis on easy handling and flexible deployment. These attributes lend well to its use at small airfields and along the front lines of a battle. As a multi-role fighter, the Compass is a go-to choice for unknown or highly variable mission profiles. While not as maneuverable as the Cricket, the Compass can still fly hard along the ground at high or low speeds without feeling awkward or unwieldy. Even in the late game, a Compass is competent and dangerous, sporting the ability to kill interceptors and bombers with some deft handling. The Compass offers abundant loadout options, especially if pilots are willing to sacrifice gun pods for additional missiles. This gives one aircraft the ability to engage ground and air targets with incredible flexibility on the same mission. These attributes make the Compass an ideal patrol craft and frontline fighter. When grouped together, the Compass is an excellent deterrent against all aircraft, allowing it to act in a strong defensive role. With quick landing and takeoff capability, the Compass can restock at most airfields further enhancing its tactical prowess when protecting nearby strategic interests. This performance is well supplemented by excellent defensive countermeasure reserves, but it lacks an afterburner for rapid response. The Compass can jam incoming radar signals, but lacks high-level stealth capability, making it easy to detect, but more difficult to destroy at a distance. With two subsonic jet engines, the Compass is resilient to damage but far from invulnerable. These factors give the Compass an advantage when engaging targets from a distance and supported by other aircraft. It forms an excellent synergy with the Cricket, where the Compass can engage and destroy hostile aircraft or defenses to clear the board for its smaller counterpart to perform gun runs. Pilots should take care to avoid interceptor aircraft, which can easily outrun the Compass and can therefore close distances quickly. Even NPC craft can catch inattentive players off guard, and with their significant speed advantage, interceptors can enter and exit effective engagement distances quickly. Despite its comparative disadvantage against interceptors, the compass remains relevant throughout the course of a match, and is usable well into the late game. As more powerful aircraft enter the field, the compass is able to step farther and farther back from the front line, using its sizable missile payload to inflict consistent damage to hostile forces across the combined arms space. This jack-of-all-trades is a valuable supplement to established air forces, though as a master of none, it's often unfit for solo or deep penetration strikes behind enemy lines. It's best kept close at hand, at or within friendly lines of combat, venturing out short distances to strike hostile forces, and then returning to dissuade a counterattack. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.